Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we end the trading week, we hear that Tesla's shares have dropped in mid-session yesterday after disappointing sales in China for the month of May. So Tesla's monthly net orders in basically dropped to just under 10,000 for May, when the previous month it was actually 18,000 in April. So, but these are early reports, uh, so they haven't actually been confirmed as yet to say what is the repercussions of this, but obviously it has infect, affected investors with uh, selling some of their stock. So uh, Tesla in general has been grappling very well, quite a lot in China in the last few months recently. You know, it's, it's uh, production in Shanghai has slowed. It's had some complaints from the Chinese market as well. It's also dealing with a public relations backlash following some high vehicle, um, high profile vehicle crashes as well. So, you know, it's not looking all good in China for Tesla. And, you know, t China are really trying to stamp their mark on the environment by going green as soon as possible with the electric hybrid era. So, you know, Tesla's near-term growth really hinges on China and its ability to sell cars in the region. So, you know, very, very significant um, times for Tesla as they really start to try and push through to one of the biggest markets in the world, which is China. And, uh, you know, if they get a, a bad reputation there, then it could really, really hamper stock prices in general. So just another story I want to touch on in the automobile industry is Ford. They're looking like they might have to pay a penalty uh, soon in the region of about $1.3 billion. So it all stems to them um, manufacturing and distributing uh, vehicles in Europe and, <clears throat> excuse me, and only paying a 2.5% uh, tax char uh, duty imposed on uh, the cars that they're imported into America, whereas they should have been paying a 25% duty. So this has all been going on since 2013. And last year, they lost a high profile court case. And now they're having to pay the repercussions in court. And, uh, you know, on top of this, they have to pay um, court fees and, you know, the custom fees as well. So this could actually hamper Ford. But funny enough, their shares actually jumped by over 5% yesterday on strong sales from May. Uh, that, um, well, last month uh, compared to this time last year. So, you know, American sales have really started surging so that, you know, it's actually been quite influential in their price. So just looking at Tesla, first of all, today, you know, where do we go from Tesla? We've been talking about Tesla in the Stockwatch videos for so long on how they're, you know, from their stock split price, when Elon Musk actually wiped several billion off the company value of, uh, about a year ago, when he sent a tweet out to say that the stock price is way too heavy, uh, sorry, way too high, uh, until the time that they did a stock split. And, you know, they were looking to jump back to the $1,000 rate region. But now, as you can see, we're heavily under the $600 region, trading just uh, at 570 approximately. So as you can see here, this was the detrimental downturn in prices. You could say it's not so misleading I've got this on the daily chart at the moment. We're trading underneath the Ichimoku cloud, very, very far under. Uh, so, you know, where do we go from here? Well, let's look at the intraday aspect of it all. You know, we're in quite, um, a, you know, a choppy descending channel, you could say. Not much, well, not too much in the way of divergences on the RSI to give me an indication. All I'm looking for at the moment is if the prices will start piercing this Ichimoku cloud, and then we can start turning our attentions to building a bit more of a bullish esteem to the upside. So, you know, I'll be looking at the $600 mark as my first target. If we break that, then we'll be going up to recent peaks, which is roughly about the mid to high 700 range, which we saw only, you know, six weeks ago, which isn't really that long ago. But, you know, with Elon Musk, well, let's say the erratic behavior and the company's behavior as well. We'll see what happens in the near term as well. So Ford, on the other hand, just got this on the intraday. As you can see, shares are very progressively up at the moment. Very good sales in America, which is really leading to uh, quite a, well, let's say accentuation in the uh, stock price. But, you know, as I said, this $1.3 billion penalty looming over them could affect them slightly. Or, as I said, if sales keep pushing higher in America, which is where their main base is, then, uh, you know, their, their main sales are, then uh, this could really look very promising for Ford for the rest of the year. So, again, not too much in the way of divergences on the MACD or RSI that I've been looking at, even on momentum as well. So, just looking to see now, I'll just bring it out to a daily chart just to see what the recent... Um, 
levels look like and you know as I said we were trading in the Ichimoku cloud but this recent ascension in the last few trading sessions really propelled it higher so looking for a tiny bit of retracement now I'll be looking roughly about the lower end of the $15 to $14 range and then we'll see what happens for the rest of the session so that's it to cap off the rest of the trading week thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Stockwatch if you have any comments or queries please feel free to add them to the post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible have a great trading day ahead and bye for now